Hello guys and welcome to the next episode of Transport Fever with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. Just enjoying the little stroll down the river here. I hope you guys are all keeping okay. So, this episode we are going to be working on shifting around some more passengers because we have been given some things that I want to try out. Uh, we have all sorts of different trams that we can use and we're already having success with this boat. This is fantastic. Oh, look at that. The Klondike, the Klondike Paddle Steamer. So let's take a look at some of our lines that we've got. Uh, we Oh, also, let me show you this. I've also got a brand new achievement. It just happened. Transport Master, accumulate a fortune of 10 million without debt. I do not have any debt at all. I'm doing nothing but make money, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm really pleased about that. I'm really pleased. So let's just take a look at our lines at the moment. Um, see how things are going here. We've got the one that isn't making any money, which is our passengers. Funnily enough, our plastic transfer is actually making money. And now I don't know how that is making money. That is very weird. I, I expect that to not make any money. Because I'm moving plastic from here to here, not actually taking it to a factory. But that is now making money. Okay, maybe that's changed because there's been an update to the game. Maybe it's now counting this transfer as part of the overall route that we have for the plastic that the boat is taking up here. So maybe it's taken a cut of that. That would be good if it did that. That would make sense. But anyway, we have all of these bus stops here that I, I hastily threw these in um, a while ago and didn't really know what I was doing. I just sort of threw them down. But what I would like to do is maybe take these bus stops out. Because we do actually have some people are waiting at some. I mean, these they're waiting at the train there. We've got 46 waiting there. We have some here. I would like to set up a tram route that goes around the city and picks people up. And we'll give that a go. In fact, I might leave that there. Even though that's not making any money, how about we do it at the other end? How many people do we have waiting at this train station? Um, five and do we have we have bus stops here don't we which route is this then I completely forgot that I would put passengers up at the other end Todd Morden passengers is actually making money interesting so that's got less routes in fact I think that's one that is one route that just literally goes round and comes back whereas my other one is a bit higgledy piggledy all over the place. Look, there's like crossing and all that sort of stuff. So maybe that's what the problem is with this. Maybe we will sort some trams out, but I don't. I, I, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna delete this one. We're gonna delete this one. I wanna. So let's pause the game. Let's give it a pause. Um, I think these bus stops here are actually the same ones as when you put in tram stops. If we have a look at this here. Uh, we go to passengers, so we've got bus and tram stations are the same, bus and tram stop, yeah, they're literally the same, same one, so that's good. Why don't we put a bus and tram station in? I've got this big tram station with multiple passenger terminals, how big is that? That is pretty big, I mean, we could have that in here. Let's close down that, let's close down that, let's keep this one open, we'll pop that up out there. I mean, we can have this next to our train station, not like that, next to our train station. Does this have like a catchment area as well? It does. So people are going to walk to that to get the trams. Look at, well, maybe we'll have this over here then. That just seems a bit big to me. I don't know. Large bus tram station, bus tram station. Maybe we'll go with the small one. I think that might be, that's got a reasonable catchment area. I think that'd be a good idea. Let's let's not let's not overdo it for a little small town. So if we have this here, let's add that in. Uh, let's remove all of these. Um, actually, no, we can. Oh, how's that going to work? Because we we do have buses here, don't we? Um, where's the bus? Where's the buses that? Hit? Oh, here we go. Vehicles. We have these two buses here. So let's, let's sort these guys out. They are going to go back to the depot. Uh, that's this one. Yeah, let's get rid of those for now. 
we are going to add over here the place you can buy trams from. Bus tram stop. Can we actually buy that? Oh, can we buy those anyway from here? I don't think we actually have one of those up here, do we? Oh, we do. Uh, I can't buy trams from here. Okay. I thought I'd be able to buy trams from that. Oh, tram depot. There we go. That's what we want. Yes, it is a different one altogether. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's squeezing opposite here. Oh, just maybe. I don't want to get rid of that house. Okay, we're going to do it this side instead then. Right, squeeze that in there. That looks okay, doesn't it? Let's just line that up a bit. Construction not possible. Too much curvature. Terrain alignment collision. Oh my goodness, come on. Oh, I think what it is, is we need to upgrade our roads to include tram tracks. Yes. And we've got bus lanes as well. I've never noticed that before. So can we upgrade that? And what's that going to add in? Tram tracks in the middle of the road. So we can now have that running around the town. And I bet that is now going to enable me to add in... Uh, let's grab that one there. A tram depot. <laughs> it's still not going to let me add it in. Let's add it in on the end here then. Yay, there we go. Right, okay. It's going to let me put it here. Just something about that piece of road. I don't know what it is. Yay! Can we? I'm going to just line that up a bit. There we go. Fantastic. So we can now have trams there. So, um, I'm probably... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Is that one of my buses? Let's run the... Let's upgrade all of these and run the tram tracks around. Okay, there we go. And now you can see that these have changed. They are now counting as a tram and a bus stop. See the little symbol above the top there? So the route that we can take can go down there, hopefully around there, up here, wiggle up there and back round again. I just want to keep it simple, and I think that's going to work. Hopefully. Let's see. So let's add in a new line. Uh, there we go. So, where are we at the moment? Can we get the name of this place? Dolverton. So, let's call this... Let's delete this. Dolverton Trams. There we go. Let's add a station in. So, we're going to have this one here. And then, I'm hoping it's going to automatically come down and round. Yes, it is. Fantastic. And then along to here... It's like it's going back again. Did I not upgrade this bit here? Darn it. I thought I did. Let me just have a quick look at that again. I did, yeah, look. So that can go around there and along there. I don't know why I've got that one upgraded. Oh, that was for future expansion. Hmm. Let's try that again then. So this one here. Let's close that so nothing else shows up. Then this one, we could actually add another stop over there, couldn't we? We were a bit short on stops there. Let's let's do that. Let's add a bus and a tram stop there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Let's get back to here then. Add a station, this one. Whoa, that's the wrong side of the road. There we go. That's what I want. I've got it going the right way now. So it's going down here, along there. This one was the wrong side of the road. Along there, up here, and round. That's what I want. Uh, oh, these guys are going home, aren't we? Let's speed that up so they get home. Excellent. Well, let's buy some trams. Let's take a look at these. Buy trams. What have we got? Steam tram. That's a really old one. That's going to finish in a couple of years anyway. So there's no point buying that. Seven passengers. Nine passengers. That'll last a bit longer. That'll last a bit longer. This is, this is looking like a good one. This yellow one here. Um, 16 passengers. Buy, if I buy two of those. Set line, Dolverton trams. Unable to find path to stop. Now, why the heck is that? You can 
can come down here. What stop are you unable to find a path to? Dang. Everything's joined up. Okay, I've just realised these are electric trams. I think that's what it's telling us. Look, if we do this here, it says electric. Uh, let's have a look on here. Does it tell us anywhere? It doesn't actually tell us power. 190 kilowatts. Okay, so I've set tram roads. Let's just uh, pause this again. See, we're learning as we go. Tram tracks, yes, electric. That is what we need. So all of these tram tracks... There we go, look, it's got the red. There we go. Actually, we didn't need that, did we? I put that in there, but we didn't really need that. So we can upgrade all of these. Uh, the F I wish the FPS didn't drop so much when you were doing stuff like this. It's just something that's in the game at the moment. I'm hoping they'll, uh, they'll update, update something soon so it doesn't do that. But I've got the game pause as well to try and help with that. There we go. So that... Is that going to not let me upgrade because the depot contains vehicles? Seriously? Am I going to have to delete my vehicles and buy them again? Is this going to let me... <laughs> I am going to have to do that, aren't I? Silly, silly, silly. Okay, let's upgrade that. Electric, yes. There we go. Yeah, that's just like a... That, that is something that really needs to go by the train station, isn't it? Um, maybe we will change that at some point. I'll leave it there anyway. I'll leave it there. Okay, let's buy... Let's just try one. Yep, it's going to work. Let's buy another. There we go. Let's shut all the windows. And let's have a look at this thing. Look at that. Oh man, that looks fantastic, doesn't it? That looks absolutely fantastic. I'm liking that. Let's follow this one. Follow the route round. Hopefully picking up some passengers. I think they'll probably space themselves a bit now, won't they, like they normally do. Let's have a sip of tea. Can't believe the little doors open and everything. Let's look at that old car behind. I love the fact that everything is so old. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay, let's follow this one up here, because he's going to be going ahead and picking up more passengers, isn't he? Because he's first. Here we go. Let's speed this up a bit. Oh, this is looking really cool. Nobody at that one. Don't run over the person. Yeah, we need those. So it'll be interesting to see how much money we make now out of this route that's going around instead of the bus route that we had before. That's it. I put those down there for future expansion. We shall see how that goes. Oh, he's stopping. Okay. I don't think he's picking anybody up yet. But I'm hoping that's going to help get even more passengers to the train station. Well, our trams are running nicely. We'll leave them going. They're not making any money just yet. Let's have a look. Oh, the plastic transfer is now not making any money. Ah, <laughs> oh, unless it's in the middle of a transfer, it is. Look, there's the, there's the boat. So, the tram's not making any money yet. We'll see how that goes. I might, oh, I might be better with just one tram. I'm not worried. I'm making so much money. What I would like to do is set up a plane. We've got planes now. We have one plane available to us we have a small airport now what i'm thinking of doing is we've got the passenger train that goes from here there we go from dulverton to todd morden i think we're trying to sort of concentrate on todd morden and dulverton growing but we could set up bushy to come in here and bring passengers over to todd morden i mean what are we getting Let's close down that window there. Let's have a look at Todd Morden. What are they getting in their little city here? So good. We're getting a lot of fuel. We don't have machines and construction stuff yet. But that's going to help them grow a little bit. Uh, which is good. And I'm wondering whether if we set up an airport, say from Bushy to Todd Morden, that we would get more passengers there? More people there? I don't know whether that would be something worth doing or trying at least. Let's give it a go. Why not? We haven't done it before, we're learning. So, airport with one dirt runway for small aircraft. Terminals, 665k for two terminals. Maybe one terminal. I don't think we're going to have enough for more than one passenger. 
see. Is there sort of like a catchment area for this? So we can get it in there somewhere. It doesn't look like it. It doesn't seem to be a catchment area. Let's try it a bit closer. I'm wondering whether this is really something that you have to have. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, it's got a tiny catchment area. Look, you really need buses to come there. So how about, hmm, I've got an idea. I've got an idea where we've just set up our tram line in Dolverton. We could go, oh, I don't want to set a plane as well to Dolverton to Todd Morden because they, they might use that instead of the train. What else have we got? So maybe a bit for Frodsham, of course. Oh, Frodsham is getting goods into it. Maybe Frodsham. Frodsham, Frodsham. Let's go from Frodsham to Dolverton. And we can actually put this on the route that we have and have our airport here by the water. Oh man, it's massive. Maybe not. <laughs> um, that is a lot bigger than I thought. Where could we squeeze this thing in? Let's see. If we add this over here. Terrain alignment collision. Oh, there we go. Look. How about there? We can move this over here and add it onto our route. That's, that's cool. I like that. So we can have our people bought here. And this is where we can buy our aircraft. Apparently, have I just bought an aircraft? No, there we go. We've got a choice. Uh, we've got one that will take passengers. This will take passengers. That will take three. That will take five. Not that expensive. Okay. Well, let's connect this up then. And then maybe we can get a tram line coming up here as well. We want an electric tram. Can we just connect that to there? Yeah, that's good. Let's upgrade this piece of road here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to delete this. There we go. We're not using that. We're going to add that in over here. And I hope that catchment area is close enough. Let's just pause the game a sec while we're doing some building. Bus tram station. Let's go for this one. That connect to here. No, it's got to be right by the trams. Let's do it this way round. There we go. Let's add that to this route. Oh, look at that. Ha, huh, just found a key that will do that for me. Didn't know that. Right, okay. Let's add it to this route here. Uh, trams, there we go. So after Church Lane and before York Road. So if I go Church Lane and say add station, there we go. Church Lane, Dolverton Branch, then York Road. I'm hoping that that's, that's right. It's not actually showing it up anymore, is it? That's weird. Mm, it should be okay. For some reason, it's not showing it up, the, the line that it would normally show. But there we go. That's going to bring people to Dolverton Branch, which is where they want to be, hopefully. And then we need to set this up at the other end. So let's set this up. Uh, where did we say? Frodsham. Frodsham. <laughs> I'm going to pronounce it correctly one day. So let's set one up over here as well. Wow, it's so big, isn't it? And if we sort of go at the end here... Hmm. I mean, that could work, couldn't it? And then we could just get like a, a bus route that goes round here. Yeah, let's do that. But it's, I don't think these can be big enough for trams and stuff at the moment. So let's go for buses here. So let's have a depot. Oh, we might have a depot near here, do we? No, let's put one in. Let's add a depot here. There we go. And let's add There we go. Tram tram and bus stop. Uh, yep, yeah, that's got the catchment area for that. It seems like I can't get it any closer. Okay, let's do that then. So let's set something up here. There we go. I think that should work well. Let's buy a couple of buses. In fact, I'm going to buy 
Oh, darn it. I put a tram depot in, didn't I? Let's get rid of that. How did the tram depot connect? I didn't even put a road with tram lines in. I've no idea. Anyway, that shouldn't have connected, should it? Let's put a bus depot in. Uh, that's more like it. There we go. Let's buy passengers. What have we got? Oh, we've got the Daimler top seater now, which will hold 11 passengers. Let's buy one of those and set line to... Where are we? Frodsham bus. There we go. And that will head out on the way. Let's be interested to see how many passengers that picks up. And how many... Oh, we've got a set of routes, haven't we, as well, for our train. Uh, for our train. For our plane. So let's have new line. Add station. There we go. At the minute, that's flying a big circle back to itself to there. So that's going to take up there, go back there, come back round. Nice. Okay. That's going to be our first... So what's that? Fraud to Dolve Plains. Okay, let's let's do that then. Fraud to Dolve Passenger Plane. Okay, well that's near enough. We know what's going on there. So that is something we want to keep an eye on. Let's take a look at our plane. Let's close all of that. Where is our plane? Do we actually have a plane? We do not have a plane. What should we go for? Three passengers, five passengers. Let's go for the Dornier Merca. There we go. And let's set the line. Frodgem to Dol Dolverton. Is that done? It's done. And here he goes. Let's slow this down and have a look. That is quite a small plane. That is... Not as big as I thought it was. Is that really the... Yeah, that looks about right. And here he goes. Let's follow him then. Come here. We're going to follow you. Let's keep that window open. And there we go. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> Let's speed this up a bit. Oh, we can hear like... First aircraft arrived and run a line. No passengers though. This is this is cool. I'm loving this. This is fantastic. Oh, he's going back round again the other way. This is when he's going to take off. Oh yeah, here he goes. Oh, he's getting some speed up. Look at that. Oh, let's get a first person view of this. Oh, this is fantastic. Get a real view of the towns and the... I wonder how long it's going to take to get to Dolverton. Oh, here comes Dolverton. It's coming up on the horizon. I have no passengers, but it's a good practice before we come into land. First Biffa Airways. So that's going to cost a lot of money, isn't it? I'm hoping we get quite a few passengers at these. Otherwise, it's going to cost a lot of money. Coming in. Oh, it's a perfect landing. First successful flight from Frosham to Dolverton with no passengers. Let's have a look. Let's see whether there is any passengers waiting here. Do we have any yet? Oh, here comes the tram. There goes the tram. <laughs> oh, we need to actually add this onto the tram route, don't we? To get people to come here as well. Okay, I'm going to have a fiddle around with this a bit. And then I'll be back with you. There we go. I had to upgrade that to include tram lines. Now Delver to... There we go. That's why the line wasn't showing up. Now it's all working. So hopefully going to be picking up passengers. I mean, we could get some coming from Todd Morden on the train all the way down here, jump on the tram, and then get dropped off at Dolverton Branch to be picked up by the plane to then be flown all the way over to here <laughs> to Frodsham. Maybe that's what's going to happen. How many, let's see. How many people have you got in your plane? Let's slow this down a minute. Where are you? Come on, I'll keep an eye on you. No passengers yet. I think I'll come back to you when I've actually got some passengers. Well, everything is running well. And I've just been looking at my lines and what really makes me the most money. And at the moment... Ooh, that's it. They're going well. Making some money there. At the moment, the train is the best thing that's making me the most money. Frequency every six minutes. In the last year, I think that is, it's made me 1.4 million. 
Um, we could set up, I mean, we, we need to get more people into Fraunchester, really, to make this work. I'm sure I put that in far too soon, but, you know, we're having fun, we're trying things out. I reckon a train line from Borough Bridge to Fraunchester would be fantastic. It's pretty flat between there, it wouldn't be too complicated to do. Um, it's going to work without, um, if I change that to visible only, there we go. Um, it's going to work without having a load of buses in any way, because this one did. People will walk to a train station. I think maybe we're going to set that up in the next episode. I think that'll be good. Right, let's just turn that off. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed having a look at our, what do we do today, trams and planes as well. Be exciting to see what sort of stuff we get once we get to around the 1950. I think we get quite a lot of stuff coming in soon. Oh, we have passengers! Oh! <gasps> It's brought a passenger over. Let's see how much money that makes us. I'm not expecting too much, I'll be honest. 7.57k, and he's taken five passengers. <gasps> okay. We're going to follow him and see how much money he makes at the other end. But someone's just paid 7.5k to fly <laughs> from there to there. Here he goes, he's taken off. Let's have a look at our lines. Um... So where's our plane? Here we go. So it's minus 50 odd K at the moment. If we keep the... Oh no, it's not that one. It's this one here. We might suddenly see a difference. Let's wait until they get to the other end. And see how much money this makes us. Oh, end of year save. 1932. We are doing good. We, we don't have any debt. Oh, we're coming into land. Look at that. Look at that. You know I'm lining it up for a screenshot. <laughs> okay, let's keep this one open. Oh, there he goes. Right, let's see. On our finances. So, yeah, he's got five passengers of five to drop off. Oh, oh you even get the squeak of the brakes. That is brilliant. And that's the start of the year as well. So, this will be a good indication of whether... Even if we take five, that's going to pay for a journey. Well, it was seven and a half K for one, so for five. There we go. So that's cost another, let's see. 22K! Fantastic! Has he got any more passengers to go back? He has. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, and there's more passengers waiting here as well. 16. We could have another plane. Oh my goodness. Let's add another plane. Definitely. This one here. Uh, there we go. Set line. Frodgham to Dolverton. Off you go. Oh, that is fantastic. That is going to be making me some nice money. I'm really pleased about that. Well, guys, if you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button on the screen. It's the B with a T stain. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next episode of Transport Tycoon. Where I'm counting all my money. Here they come. Look, he's coming into land as that one's taken off. I'm glad they've left enough room between them. Oh, I love just seeing the money come in. See you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.